Hello, welcome to Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I'm here with Christian and Anna. What up? Good evening. And apparently, uh, according to Phil, we should have done Microcasters yesterday uh, with uh, with Huffer, because yesterday was just, oh, wait, two days ago, I guess. Yeah, we should have had it ago. done on Tuesday so that we could have done it on 420. I think Phil knows what days are. So, well, there you go. I mean, I guess that works. Like, you don't usually huff that particular drug, right? Yeah, yeah. it's more like you know, glue day. We would have done that one for paint. Yeah, yeah. Did you celebrate glue day this year? I forgot I it. I did not. And the pandemic just really got me distracted from the big Look, holidays. Look, if they actually release Puffer, then we can do that one on 420 next year. <laughs> there we go. go. Perfect. So, we'll is, see. is today Earth Time will tell. Today's Earth Day. Earth Day. Yeah, so my, my kid was talking about Earth Day and all that today because he was like, oh, I can't believe like one of the teachers didn't know it was Earth Day, supposedly. And so he's like, how could you not know? And I'm like, surprise, you know, I didn't realize it was Earth Day till you just said something. So happy Earth Day, everyone. Yes, happy Earth Day. This is the one day of the year where we acknowledge that we have a planet and we should take care of it. Yes. We spend the rest of the time destroying said planet. So we'll get back to normal tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be fine. So tonight we have a dual review. Uh, we, we finally have some good original, uh, you know, figures to uh, to review tonight. So original figures? How are these guys well, original? Like these characters not, are made like 50 like, years ago. I, I'm saying it's not like a remold. They're not remold. Like, I, I feel like okay. half the time we're like, oh yes, it's you know the fifth version of this mold that we're. We doing. did original figures last week. That's true. I don't remember what we did Look two weeks us. ago anymore. Two weeks in a row. Two weeks. Three in weeks in a row because we did scourge. Look, man, I don't know if you want to know what you're talking about anymore. Wow, wow, look at us. True, so. yeah. Yeah, we haven't done a repaint in a while, so next week we'll have to do 60 different seekers. <laughs> do we even have 60 seekers now? I don't even know. You do. You're right. Wait, weren't you supposed to pick up the Ollie special for us uh, from Cyberverse? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't go yet. I will go, I will go look at it tomorrow. I want those. They're pretty. So... There you go. 60 different seekers in the all these pack for what what is that like? Yeah. Five bucks or something or twenty dollars. It's only four seekers There's too. Four seekers, twenty dollars. And honestly, five dollars each for that bold is kind of stretching it, but question is, do I need another double dealer again? I sold one. Did you really had, get rid of I it? I had I had two. Oh, okay. I sold one. Do I need two again? Probably not. Yeah. It's fine. Nah, not really. But then the other one can be double clouder, and this one can be double dealer. See, don't rationalize things. Oh, here. okay. You don't need another one. It's not even a good toy. It's not that good. I don't not like that good. That no, it could be a lot we better. Talk we talked about him it's last okay. year. What are we talking about tonight, Lucas? So tonight we have uh, Huffer and Warpath. So I don't know. Who do we want to do first? Do I do Warpath first? I don't have him. <laughs> I've got my Warpath in his tank mode here. Oops. It's a nice tank. I've got the superior Warpath with me. No. You know, I wouldn't say that's superior, but I also really like that one. It's really cool. It's it's funny, though, because I feel Warpath like you get first, these okay. new figures, and then you're like, oh, I love the old one so much. And you get the new one in, and you're like, ah, it looks kind of like old and not as good. I don't know. Really? Like, yeah. I don't know. I think this is the one time that that figure in no way diminishes this figure. They're very different. But, sure, I actually are, agree with different. Anna this time. Usually, Lucas, I do agree with you that the old ones look kind of old and dated when you get the new ones. This one, it just does different things. Yeah, that's that's, true. that's very much the G1 things. Warpath character. And this is like something out of a 90s robot anime. It's cool. Yeah. He's Warpath. He's very cool. More than the the last one, the one that Anna's showing, this is exactly the right color. Yeah. That one was a little off yeah. and it, because it's a little glossy, it looks off. This is very matte colored because it's painted all over. And uh 
it's fantastic. <coughs> Look at this fella. His head sculpt is wonderful. He comes with a weird shield that works for his vehicle modes, somewhat like Gundog. Well, you pretty much have to have the shield. Like, don't lose that shield, because otherwise it doesn't peg together. Yeah, like, well, it pegs around in the vehicle mode. Right. Yeah, he's, you know, he's taller than Bumblebee is for minibot height, but he's not as tall as, like, Sideswipe or Sunstreaker or those guys. He's, yeah. you know, a little bit shorter because he's, like, a tall minibot, which is nice. Yeah, and if you pretty, feel like it, G1. you can extend his nice. chest barrel out for fun G1 accuracy, or you can keep it stowed away. Yeah, that, that chest barrel thing is just always so dorky looking. I get it, though. I know. That's how he's supposed to look. It, it's a kooky design, but yeah, he does it well. Yep. Yeah. He's a kooky character, so I, I allow it a little He's bit a more, because Warpath, oddly enough, as one of the Autobots that turns into the most violent type of vehicle, is a complete goofball, so <laughs> very amusing. So even He's got articulation that we would kind of expect. He even kind of cheats it on the feet, because it's just this outside piece of the tank tread moving, but he does mm -hmm. cheat it enough to make that happen. Okay. It breaks the sculpt once she gets there, but uh, you know anything closer to that, like you know, that, looks fine. It's just not the entire foot piece moving. It's just the outside tank tread part. Visually, that foot reminds me of the flywheels and um, slam dance mold. Visually. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Does it actually work about the same? Uh, yeah, actually. I don't have that toy, so I have to try to make relationships. Yeah, the, the tank part look is kind of the same. He has little tanky feet. Little tanky feet. It folds up differently than uh, yeah, flywheels. Yeah, I was going to say, this is more complex than those. I would expect that. It's a, it's a fun transformation, though. It's like one of those things where, I mean, I don't know, I always heard the back cube one was just a nightmare. And, uh, I mean, this one's, like, fun. I will criticize this shield part. And normally I criticize accessories just because they're bad or superfluous. You'll, you'll hear me talk about that with Huffer. But this shield part could have been neat if they had a place for him to really hold it. Like a riot shield mm -hmm. or something. Because it just has this one peg which makes him have to hold it, you know, like like that. Which is not how you hold shields and you could peg it on. I had it pegged onto his shoulder earlier. Like you saw, you could peg it on over here. So it's like a boxing glove or something, but it's still not right. I think that's good for his side gig as a server. Hmm. You yeah, can man. serve food on it. Oh, if you have that drink set from the, um, the make toys, little guys, put the drinks on it. Like you could there, there try you and put it on the back. He's got a five millimeter port back here, but it's angled incorrectly. And then you could put it like that. But then he's got like crap behind his head, which I guess looks kind of G1-ish. I was going to say like, that crap is accurate technically, right? There's just no good way to put it in. Unlike with Huffers, which like I said, we'll talk about in a couple minutes. Uh, you do really do need Accu it. crap. It's accurate Accu crap. crap. Yeah, yeah Accu crap. Accu crap. Yeah. yeah. You you do need it for the vehicle mode. You can forego and toss it in a bin somewhere you actually need it. That's Warpath. He's neat. Um, I'm glad to have him. He seems to be the unsung hero of Wave One. Like no one's talking about Warpath at all. But I never see him on shelves, so that's probably okay. I don't. I mean, does he? Uh... Oh, sorry. Does he have wrist articulation? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He okay. Rotates cool. all that the way somebody. around, and he do he doesn't go in and out, but he goes all the way around. I was realizing I don't have wrist articulation. I was trying to turn my wrist there, and it doesn't go. It doesn't go. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's actually my my arm that moves. Yeah, he he so rotates nice. all the way around. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I like I, that. I think it's one of those things where it's just a you know a really neat like it's a neat transformation. It's a very neat, compact uh, bot, and yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like I, I, I think that uh, like I really like him. It's it's one of those things where he's not so small that you know you can complain that like oh that 
you know, this is $20 or whatever. Like, I feel like it doesn't feel like that, like with uh, Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. I mean, he's a, he's a chunky dude and he's got a lot of, you know, a lot to him um in a, in a fun transformation so i don't know i feel like that there's it's, it's one of those things because there's just not a lot of complaints that that you have about them you know and we had a good old you know xana showing off like you know we have other versions that are are pretty good as well so um yeah i, I don't know it's it's a really good you know figure to add though i would say like I mean, the, the thing where I say about the fact that, you know, the old one being dated is I can't remember what the articulation was like. like the articulation, too, I think it's really limited on it. It doesn't have wrist swivel. It doesn't have ankle tilt. It doesn't have a waist. It just has the basic joints on it. So, you know, you've got that articulation and this articulation's there. But otherwise, it's kind of older school. And his head isn't even on a ball joint. It's just right left. So, you know, he's a little, he's a little limited. I've always felt like this looks like an entirely different guy. Like, I've always felt like this doesn't really look like G1 Warpath to me. This just looks like a very angry, action-y guy to me that's someone else. Yeah. Which is fine for me because I'm not that attached to G1 Warpath. And I have a G1 Warpath and he's actually fine for me because I think he's hilarious. So, yeah, I've enjoyed this that figure one. was part of a trend we had for probably 10 years or so where warpath was treated as like this kind of big brawler character yeah as opposed to kind of the the you know tiny he's not tiny the smallish goofball that he is and uh this this figure the kingdom figure is a return to form yeah it is i didn't mind big giant brawler warpath especially when you got to play as him in war for cybertron the game um but you know it's nice to see this version come back too yeah, this is a super cool toy, but I can see the appeal of the G1-ish one. I'm, I'm trying to talk myself into it so hard, but I just, when I look at it, I just, I don't really like it that much. I wish I did. It's a adorable face, though. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Warpath. I, I don't know. It's Warpath. Yeah, that's, that's it. It's Warpath. I do hope we see some repaints of this. Treads would be fantastic. Uh, beyond that... You know, if they wanted to do tread shot, maybe like the club one did. I don't, I don't know about repay potential beyond that. But yeah, treads as, would be excellent. We got bug bite, so let's go treads. As Randall just said, if he came with a sir spike, or if they made a special gift set with a sir spike, I would definitely, I would definitely get that because that's one of my favorite G1 episodes because it's ridiculous. It's a, it's a good one. So over the yeah. top. I, I will say that uh, as uh, Jacob in the chat says, he's a lot better than Combiner Wars Warpath. So, like, if if for some reason that you don't oh, I have forgot that, forgot that version, existed. Yeah. I don't think I even know that oh, exists. It's the yeah. Legends it's like class from the Legends Thrilling one. Thirty Megatron. Mold. Okay, yeah. got it. Awful, awful garbage. I totally forgot that was a thing. Yes, this is much better than that. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, I think if you want exist. the if you want the mini bot to kind of go with your mini bot collection, that's this is a better representation than the Combiner Wars version. So Yeah. So yeah. I was, I, I I was totally like happy combi- not like, having honestly, that in my brain. Both of these, it, it's kind of funny because uh Combiner Wars had their their Huffer 2 that people complained about. Like everyone hated that. Well that was too. fine. I thought it was, I a fine Huffer figure. was an interesting it was toy, but fun. yeah, it wasn't Huffer. You're right. Warpath was not fine back then. Jeez, yeah. I was happy. And now that's in my brain again. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. But, but yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm excited that we're getting these, these mini bots. Like, it's one of those things when they first release it and you're like, oh man, like, I had to spend 20 bucks, but. I don't know. Like I, they're, they're just good. really nice versions. They're really yeah. good. No, Even like my the, only the smaller hesitation. Ones like we need glyph. We really need glyph. I need glyph. Need glyph. I need glyph. I need glyph. But yes, we need glyph. Oh, I don't care about glyph. <laughs> I have glyph. Here it came out. I'm good. Yeah, I. 
I, I'm really on the fence on whether or not I'm going to get it. Now that I look at it, I'm like, man, that's like, it's really is what it is. It really is just Warpath. I mean, for me, I think it's a fun fiddle bot. Like it's fun right. to transform. And so mm-hmm. like, that's, that's what I like about it is, is that, you know, like it's not just the whatever standard transformation, but it's not hard. Um, it, like it's kind of fun. So I, I yeah, don't there's know. Some neat like I think it's tricks along the way. Yep. You say it eats what? There's some neat tricks along oh, the way. Oh, okay. I didn't think it yeah. ate anything. It's plastic. Well, because like a lot of the other figures that we're getting, you know, when we would say they're mini masterpieces. Is because some of the transformation like steps would be somewhat similar to like masterpiece or third party, whereas like I don't really feel like this kind of pulls from from any of that. It's like its own thing. So I don't know. I think it's kind of neat. I, I would definitely recommend this guy. Yeah, I like it a lot. The shield is annoying. They, they could have done it better. They should have done it better. But it's fine. That's the only complaint I have about it. So that's yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, he looks okay. I, I'm gonna think really hard about whether or not I'm getting him before he disappears from the entire universe. You should do it. We know he'll get repainted as something. I hope so. So I'll have the mold. Otherwise, it's just do I need a representation of Warpath? Because this really is a different guy to me. <laughs> He's a cool guy. He looks like he comes out of, like I said, a '90s robot JRPG, but. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for showing that to us. You too. Our other other friend for tonight? Yes. It's Hopper. So we both have him in vehicle mode. Yeah, let's let's run through the truck mode real fast. Okay. I'd rather talk about what the truck mode is. is Oh, sorry. Go ahead. What were you going to say, Christian? Oh, he does that. I'm showing Anna's screen. Because he uh, can pull the trailer like that. Yeah, time. that's exciting. Yeah, he can pull the trailer, and you know, mine is not pulling the trailer; he's pulling the sarcophagus from Dead Prime. But close enough. Because I, I don't actually have regular Prime to have a regular trailer; I just have the dead one. But yeah, it does the job. It pulls the thing. A couple people have commented that the skull actually feels better; like it actually makes the trailer feel not tiny. When it's on Huffer <laughs> instead of Prime. And I totally agree with that. Like, yeah, he feels of. right pulling this thing. Because he's a little truck and a little trailer. So then he feels like a normal truck and a normal trailer. So I was going to say, I don't understand why they pack this shield in. Like, what is the point of this thing? So, like, if you don't have the shield on... Like, you know, it has the connection point for the trailer. I suppose that having the shield kind of, like, hides, like, there's no little panels, you know, Oh, that. okay, so, so maybe it actually that. does, it does one more thing that you didn't do in your vehicle mode. So his gun, it splits in half and combines with the shield to make, like, a truck bed. That's what it does. Oh, okay. I did The gun realize. splits in half like this. Okay. And these two orange ports go onto the side of it and create like a little truck bed. Ah, okay. I can't, See? I toss my shield in a bin, so I, you know, I can't do it I, for uh... you, but it does do it. Oh, so it makes it a bed, okay. Okay, well, see, there it goes. See, this is, listen to me, not, not reading the instructions. Kind of a, it has the orange on the outside. Yeah, orange on the outside. Huh. All right. All right. That's a that's a thing you could do. Yeah, I had it open <laughs> to my accessories till now. How do I connect this? Like where? They go like that, Lucas. Like yeah, Anna's got it. Uh, okay. You kind of invert them from what makes sense, and then they work. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. Like, I don't know. Sure. I kind of like that. It's definitely a theater of the mind moment where it's like, I really have to stretch my mind to say that is a complete yeah, truck like a, bed. Like a gator or something at that point. It's not a good toy truck it. bed. It's not a good, like, recreation of a truck bed, truck bed. Yeah, it does okay. 
I mean, I guess. I don't know. I just never really thought I that he needed that. No, no. he's got it. He's got it, though. I, mean, I guess that's it's it's an option, and it gives you weapon storage, right? You don't have to put the yeah. stupid gun on his truck forehead. I actually think this makes you like the truck mode a little more, because I, I wasn't happy with it, but I think this makes you a little happier with it. Yeah, 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 because for me, like having the dark color of the trailer helps blend with his fist, and that doesn't make the fist stick out to me anymore. Because originally the fists were just screaming at me before I put the the truck bed on there. Now they the fish stopped. They stopped screaming. Tad down. Look at you. Yeah, it's better. It's better. It's improvement. So my thing with this guy is that I came into getting this figure, <clears throat> this Huffer, with already owning, you know, one of my favorite Legends figures is the Magic Square Huffer, right? Like, I I literally tried to put this thing back up here to show it to you, this toy, and the first one I grabbed was this one, because I was just like, oh, grab the pretty one and put it up there. I I adore this little toy, Right? This little toy costs more than he does, though. <laughs> so it's a it's a fun dichotomy. We live in a wonderful world where I could have two good huffers up here. What I like about his Google mode this time around is that it's got that mini bot look, but it also doesn't feel like super deformed either. Right. Which all the you know original mini bots did. So this is like. It's a, it's a good compromise. It feels like a small truck as opposed to like a chibi truck. I agree with that. It does like, it does actually like it felt right pulling the trailer. Like it feels like this could be a truck that has a trailer. Yeah, like one of those things at the airport or at truck yards that carry on the planes or shuffle the trailers around from place to place. They're not yeah. full size trucks, but they're like are they called tugs on land as well? I, I don't know, probably. That. It feels like that. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. He's neat. He's orange. And here he is in bot mode. He's orange and purple and silver. Here he's kind of up close. And he is nifty. He does have some issues with his arm articulation. It knocks into his little hood, the, the piece of the cab. Has there but not ever too been bad. a Huffer it, toy it that doesn't do that? <laughs> no. Most of them yeah. just don't have shoulder articulation that does that. Even my not, Magic I mean, Square one does, does that. It. it just it clangs together, and you're like, oh, why is it clanging? And then it kind of moves itself out of the way. So you can still do all the stuff you need him to do. And of course, if you just pull that off, it, it's totally fine. His head is on a ball joint. It can go all the way around. It's hard to manipulate with the uh, cab over his head, but he can do it. And then he can look... You know, down like and del- up and down just a teeny, teeny tiny bit. Teeny tiny bit, yeah. Teeny tiny bit. But it's something. Yep, yeah, but I mean, this is what it looks like. This looks like Huffer. Here he is being Huffer. To Anna's point, he does not have wrist articulation, but he does have really good elbow articulation. So, like, his his an elbow swivel. You can kind of fudge it if you really need it to. Yeah, you can. He does have ankle tilt. Boop, boop. <laughs> oh, so one thing that does annoy me a little bit, like when you um, transform him back, like I feel like his wheels have a tendency like to, to pop off. Like, I don't know if yours did that. Yes. As you said yeah. that, mine popped off. As I... Yeah, so you just have to watch it as you're doing it just because... <laughs> Yeah, because um, I've popped two wheels off so far. The way the it's, way it's that the you do it, to yeah, it. right. So I mean, and it's it, not their a pop up was deal. not pinned. If they were if they were pinned, they wouldn't do it. But it, also, if they were pinned, and you did it too hard, they would break. So it's fine. Yeah, they do it's, have. It's not really just be aware. Deal. They do have silver hubcaps, though. That's one of the the complaints they Lucas do. often has. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Painted hubcaps are always welcome. It does really help. It helps with the overall look. 
I want to talk about his accessories. So we talked about that shield and how it doesn't really have a point except that truck bed thing. So I threw mine in a bin. But here's the gun that he comes with, a.k.a. A why? It is a spark hey, Christian, razor, sorry, but it you, is. you cut out for a minute. Can you repeat whatever you said about the gun? Yeah, sure. It's a Spartan laser from Halo 3 and oh, on board. I don't know why it is a Spartan laser, but it is, um, and I love it. Maybe it'll go hang out with my Spartan collection figures instead of Huffer. Definitely is, now that you say that. It's I, 100% a Spartan laser. Huh, I didn't think about that. I honestly hadn't looked at the gun till tonight, though. I knew something was off about it. Because Huffer didn't have a oh, gun, that's right? that's amazing. Do you want what are you talking about? It's cool, like yeah, lasers. I don't mind. Anna's right, though. Huffer typically doesn't have a gun, unless sometimes he just has, like, a generic you know, pistol-looking thing when he needed it, but this is fine. You no, know, now he has a Spartan laser. I don't know what he's doing with one, but he's got it now. He's a big Halo out. fan. Maybe he's a big Halo fan. He requested one from Cybertron, got it delivered. Who isn't a Halo fan, right? Warpath. I don't know. He's the only other person here. Well, Hound turns into a warthog, so. Perfect. Yep. And your warpath turns into a scorpion tank, so yeah, he's a Halo fan too. <laughs> yes, he does. I guess he does. I don't make the rules. But see, yeah, I, again, like yeah, you know, just it's a like, really solid figure. And just like what we said with Warpath, he's another minibot that's in the adults class and again you could have been like oh minibot's twenty dollars but no this feels like twenty dollars worth of figure and he yeah. fills the spot that that huffer needs to fill just perfectly and in the post for today i put the not so many bots because i don't think this feels like a, a a small deluxe to me anymore like this feels right i don't have any problem with this being they're a little short in stature which is fine because they make up want. for it in other places and that's what exactly that's what you want whereas you know the huffer the warpath that anna has was just standard deluxe size for the time <laughs> all of them were the same size i really these two being the same price point totally makes sense to me so i'm i'm very happy with that part of it yeah anna's showing uh, air razor from last week oh yeah i brought I mean, up air razor she's on my desk I think the thing for me is is that it's like I am happy with both of these figures and like I don't feel like I need an upgrade. Like you know how you get some figures and you're like oh man like this okay I guess this is okay for now but like I really hope that they make another figure in five years or whatever it may be. <clears throat> like this you know this seems like this is the you know the figure that I want. Yep. You and I have both been saying this a lot since Earthrise, for sure. Maybe a little bit in Siege. Like, this feels like the last whatever figure or whatever character I'm going to buy. So this feels like the last Huffer I'm going to buy. This feels like the last Warpath I'm going to buy. Right. I think it could definitely this... be the last Huffer for most people. Because, I mean, let's, let's face it. He's a minor character. So is Warpath. So, you know, yeah. do we need to keep making them over and over and over and buy them over and over? Not really. Having a good one's probably good enough. Well, and I would also say that, you know, I think the competition for this, you know, might be like the Mech Fans Toys Huffer, mm -hmm. which I don't even know if you can find anymore. But like that one was kind of a, a scaled to the old, um, you know, Legends uh, size figures and whatnot. But that one mm -hmm. didn't have the articulation that this one does. Like it didn't have the ankle tilts and, and all that kind of thing. So it's like I would definitely, you know... Obviously, this is official, so I, I'd rather have this anyway. But, like, I even given that, like, I'd rather have this than that. Now, the Legends one that you brought up, and uh, that Magic Score one, is a really good figure. and Really, really good. And if you can find it. But then it's like, well, I, I, I like this size class better than, you know, the smaller Legends. So, I don't know. For me, I mean, this is kind of like the perfect Huffer. And both of these, again, are like fun little fiddle bots. Uh, you know, that you, you have. Not that, like, any of the Huffers are hard to transform, but... Yeah, that's that's a cool thing about these, is, like, if you really wanted a mini, mini-bot collection that was fancy, you could go for the Legends ones, and, you know, they're slowly, very slowly coming out. 
And you could go that route and have a very mini, mini bot collection. I honestly think it makes more sense to upgrade them to more realistic sizes for their vehicle modes. But, you know, if you'd rather have the mini ones, here they are. And, you know, this Huffer is just this thing, like, it sets a realistic standard for this thing. Because this thing on release was, I think, $30, I think. Right, Lucas, is that right for this one? That. I think it was actually it was like thirty five. <laughs> was it thirty five? It, it might have I been think more it's bec- even in the U.S. Yeah, I think it's become one of those impossible to find old Magic Square toys that people pay silly amounts for now, and that makes it more problematic because you know this is a twenty dollar figure that's readily available. This costs more and is much smaller, but it's more articulated. It's smoother. You know, there's there's things about it that make it better, quote unquote. <laughs> But I don't feel like that there's a lot of, I mean, articulation that I'm missing from these figures. That's the thing. No, there's not. It would, it would just be the wrist, really, on this one. The only thing the Magic Square has on it is wrist, which, is that enough to pay more money and get a smaller figure? Probably not. Yeah. Well, plus, and I these... just like how this one's painted and all that, too. Yeah. And this one doesn't do the wrist thing because it has to flex inward for transformation. That's, I mean, when they do the in and out for transformation thing, they don't make the wrist rotate for uh, probably breakage issues. I will say one big plus about that, though, is like usually when we have the rotating wrist, I have to complain about a giant gap, but there isn't. It's a solid piece of plastic. It's black, so you almost feel like it's still a gap, but it's solid. So he has solid arms. What he doesn't have is solid legs, unfortunately, but it's very much relegated to the back. You know, the side view is fine. So as long as you're not showing the back back of the leg and you're not worried about that little bit of gap in the foot, it's not so bad. He's good for display. Yep. So I'm, I'm ready for them to bring on really all the mini bots in this size class. I'd love that. For the original Arc dudes, we just need Brawn, Gears, and Wind Charger. Yep. And then for repaints of this Huffer, we've heard stuff about pipes. That's almost assuredly happening. And if you were lucky and know how to do Amazon links, you could have pre-ordered one for October. Uh, we've also heard about Ranger Puffer, which, depending on who you ask, is a combination of Road Ranger from the GoBot set and Puffer from... Is that Mexican G1? think or it's both ranger road ranger and puffer not sure what we'll to find out those are that or those are supposed to be in the golden disc collection later this year and for those people who aren't robot rarity connoisseurs like you are puffer is just a combination of the two of pipes and puffer, characters yeah. right a habsy repaint kind of like bumper it was like i think it's a is it a blue ray repaint of Huffer or is it an orange repaint of pipes? There's it's some sort of crossover between the the mold differences and the color differences. Like it got swapped. And that's what Puffer is. If Peter's in the chat, he'll be able to tell better than I will. I, I, you're, you're close enough to make you guys all happy. We have a okay, history cool. lesson. Discount Destro. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. But yeah, Road Ranger is like a black repaint. Uh, it's kind of, I think it was not, I think it was Microchange Inspire, but it's from that uh, that first 85 catalog shot that brought us like Nacelle, uh, several of the other uh, GoBot Minibot colors. You know, they were just like prototype colors. And then they eventually came out in like normal colors. Yeah, yeah Road Ranger is from that. Christian, do you know if that Amazon pre-order link still works, or did they take that down? Presumably, it still works. I don't know. It's the thing where, um, gosh, you, I can't remember. You have who to add it to wish list. It. Yeah, it's like one of the wish list things. Um, gosh, who is the person? There was a guy on Twitter, I think. That uh, is it, Preternia, I think, on Twitter. I have to look it up. I believe that that's the guy on Twitter that like uh, had shared the links. Yeah, repaints coming out of this. I'll buy them all. Good figure. Plus, it's it. All of those are new characters or a redo of pipes, which you know he is a redo as well. So yay. Yeah. Yeah, it's Preternia on Twitter. So uh, Randall, if. 
if you need it, he shared the links out. So you just uh, click on those links, add them to your wish list, then you can buy it from from there. But I mean, I don't think it's really going to matter anyway because it's not like you're going to get the figure any sooner. It'll probably yeah, be one of those do. things where you shows up at Walmart or Target first, but probably they are due October fifth as of now. I think the best thing we can say about links like that is that they're nice because they they confirm that those states are happening before we get like strong confirmation. It's like, oh, well, if it's in the Amazon system, they think they're selling it. So surely I'm going to be able to buy it. Well, I like those links for the Amazon exclusives. <laughs> like, that's, that's nice to have mm. it, you know, that far ahead of time. But... Yes, that is nice. I agree with that. Yeah, none of those just yet, but soon no. Pro- probably we'll probably see that golden disc stuff when I mean, we talked last week about it with terror sore because that's supposed to come out the same uh, assortment we'll probably see those relatively soon i think the, there's a fan first friday uh in may i think coming up right that one but that is one's supposed to be, to be studio about the studio series yeah so we'll see like slag and grindor and probably Rekar. Jolt and Sideswipe and uh, the non-buzzworthy version of B from Revenge of the Fallen. Who else is it going to be there? Sweeps. I think that's all of them. I think that's everything. But I'm hoping for like a select version of Springer that doesn't have space mode on it and has a correctly colored oh, face. Man. That would be nice. We'll see. It'd be nice to wear really like a little bit darker. Like I just, I don't yeah. know, that neon green it's not like, right yeah and they've been doing a lot of color schemes that are like really correct lately so springer sticks out as not being correct yeah I'll like, hopefully about the galvatron and springer. the space mode so you know i'm That's taking out space mode so all the galvatron. it's happening i don't know why they would do it again the space mode whatever I feel like we complain about it so much, but it doesn't go away. <laughs> right. Away That's probably what happened everything up is until now. they heard us complaining about it, and they're like, you know what? We're going to add it back if you guys are going to complain that much. Well, that way they can sell another version later. Well, they Easy will have another I'll buy it, too. I'll yeah. buy the, the, the uh, mid-transformation one. I'll buy the <laughs> marble-colored one, which is essentially the toy-colored one. Hopefully they don't do two of those. I don't know. I'll buy them all. The mid transformation one reminded me of the absolute. Like, if you're a Transformers fan, you probably will find humor in the pictures they used for the postings on Pulse for the Headmasters. When they put up the Walmart Headmasters, they put up those like mid transformation garbage shots. It's not the mid transformation I meant. But I know, yes, but that's did. what it made me think of. It makes me happy. <laughs> those are great. Those were odd, but fun. They're funny. Um, yeah, I guess since mean. those are available if you need them, we can uh, we can do headmasters because I have a couple. Oh, I don't have any headmasters. Do you have? Wow. I don't have those. Well, I, yeah, I was gonna say I have other ones. Yeah, I have the old ones. One old one. I think I only have one left from that because I replaced them all with the fans project ones because they ended up being about the same price. <laughs> those things plummeted. Wow. Poor fans project. I'll, I'll just be alone over here with that. <laughs> Sorry, I might okay. get over the gun clearance. All right, so you want to talk about being alone, Christian? How many how many legends collectors do we have on our podcast? One. <laughs> so I know what it's like to be alone. I know. Yeah, yeah. There's even more nice collectors on our podcast than there are legends collectors. Uh, book club this week is more than ECI 34 and 35. So read it Ooh. and come to book club on Sunday nights on the TF talk discord at eight 30 central nine 30 Eastern. Yeah. We'll have lots of fun. So come join us. Read. Yay. That's fun. So, all right. Well, thanks guys. Um, Thanks uh, to everyone in the chat. Uh, Randall, Jacob, uh, Phil, Catherine. Uh, if you guys have some suggestions for next week, let us know. Oh, and then I'm, 
uh, Denise, I missed that one too. Who knows what we'll cover so you can influence us. Yes, we're, I think we're running out of stuff that keeps us current. Probably. Oh, oh yes, this is supposed to be the week I'm actually supposed to show up for book club. According oh, to Catherine. Look at you. This is, this is, well, no, that's the running joke that I say I'll show up and then I don't. So maybe ah, this week. Maybe. Yeah, so. yeah, possibly. You're, you're actually doing more than me and CI, so I might actually show up. There's a chance. You know, small one. next week we could do Rack tonight. I don't have him yet. Oh, poop. I know. Wow. I'm excited for Rack Anna tonight. Has something before you, huh? I'm waiting on that discount Amazon order. Mm. Yeah. I was hoping it would move up like uh, my Dinobot Inferno did, but it did not. They can throw so a bubble mailer on your porch. Yes. Just like they did with Dinobot and Inferno. But they made it. See, Randall, that's what I tell them. Lucas is always like, let's do two deluxes. And I'm like, no, let's just do one at a time. And he's oh, like, we're going to do two. And we fight. So. We fight so All hard. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, everyone. And we will see you next week. Good night, everyone. See ya.